My name is Anna Dwyer and I work in the Central Statistics Office Cork in the Household Budget Survey Team. The HBS provides a wealth of valuable information on the income and expenditure patterns of Irish households. This information is vital in order to update the basket of goods for the Consumer Price Index. The CPI is used to measure Ireland's rate of inflation. In addition, we will produce a detailed Household Budget Survey publication. You have already completed the electronic questionnaire. Your dedicated household budget survey interviewer has given you a spending diary to complete. This diary is the most important part of the HBS as it records everyday spending. Most of the household budget survey information is collected here. The diary must be kept for 14 days. Make sure the receipts submitted fall within these same dates. Diary sections 1 to 9 relate to the 14-day period and sections 10 to 15 relate to the last payment you made for utilities and regular payments. We are now going to go through the spending diary on a section-by-section -section basis. The diary cover gives us the information we need to match with your electronic questionnaire. Please pay particular attention to the 14-day diary period. Page 2 has some key points for diary keeping and also a table of contents showing each section. Page 3 as the usual purchases page. You will have completed this page with your interviewer. It gives us more detail on the commonly purchased grocery staple items. If you have a receipt for a purchase, put it in the pouch of the diary holder. If you do not have a receipt, you will need to provide details of the purchase in the diary. In section 1, food and drink brought home except takeaway food, please enter grocery style items, as in the example here of tinned tomatoes. In section 2, takeaway meals and snacks consumed at home, please enter takeaway meal items, as in the Chinese takeaway example here of prawn curry and rice. In section 3, meals, snacks and drinks consumed away from home, please enter foods and drinks purchased and consumed away from home, as in the example of chicken sandwich and coffee here. In section 4, please enter details of clothing and footwear purchases following the detailed instructions provided. In section 5, please enter details of all purchases that are not food or clothing following the instructions provided. In section 6, please enter details of any homegrown and wild foods that you bring into your home during the 14-day diary period. Section 7, winnings from lottery, bingo, betting shops, football pools, raffles, etc. Please record monetary winnings that you collect or receive during the 14-day diary period. Section 8, holidays, short breaks and day trips outside the Republic of Ireland. Abroad includes Northern Ireland. If you go on a trip abroad during the 14-day diary keeping period, please enter details as per the instructions. Please enter the amount spent during the trip. If you have holidayed in the Republic, fill in the diary as usual. Section 9, business refunds. In section 9, please enter any item of business expenditure which has been purchased during the 14-day diary period and has been or will be fully or partially refunded, along with the refund as in the petrol example shown here. That completes the 14-day criteria for spending diary entries. In sections 10 to 15, please give details relating to the last payment you made for utilities and regular payments. Section 10, Utilities and Bulk Fuel Purchases. For utility bills, please give the last payment made and indicate what period was covered and the method of payment as in the example here. For each bulk fuel type, please give the total amount paid in the last 12 months and the method of payment. Section 11, Television, Landline, Broadband and Mobile Phone. In Section 11, please give the last payment made and indicate what period was covered and the method of payment as in the example here. Section 12 and Section 13. Section 12 relates to car related expenditure. Section 13 relates to pay related deductions, excluding tax, PRSI and USC. In these sections, please give the last payment made and indicate what period was covered and the method of payment as in the examples here. Section 14, loans and higher purchase. In section 14, please complete, as in the example shown, ensuring you give the purpose of the loan and not the lender. Section 15, direct debits, standing orders and regular payments. In section 15, give details of any other direct debits, standing orders and regular payments not already given. Please indicate what period was covered and the method of payment, as in the example here. Section 16, special circumstances. 
Were there any special circumstances, such as visitors staying with you or temporary absences of members of your household during the diary keeping period? Please tick no or yes. If yes, please make a note here about these special circumstances. Page 23 of your spending diary has an area for notes. Please use the notes page to give detailed descriptions of unclear or vague receipt items or diary entries, as in the examples here. I can assure you that under the Statistics Act 1993, all information you give the CSO is guaranteed, confidential and secure, and could never be used to identify you or your household in any way. Thank you for your cooperation to date. A gift card is provided to each householder who provides a good quality diary.